Hello everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in. This is sort of a kind of run through with a Suron, um, how to make the rear brake light break or turn on when you hit the brake levers. So this is what I'm setting up. I've went ahead and disconnected the brake, I guess the uh, cutoff switches uh, that are on the brake, which kind of cut the motor down, it cuts the motor off when you are uh, when you can when you engage the brake the motor cuts off and then you sort of I guess coast so you know There's a safety there. So the motor doesn't turn on a lot of people are disconnecting this feature on the Suron So I took a next step further um, I really didn't like the fact that every time you turn on the Suron the front light is on or the rear light is on It's constantly on it's not um, it, It's not like you're hitting the brake brake lever and, and the light turns on with so no somebody behind you knows that you're either slowing down or you're stopping which is kind of annoying. I wish they would have kind of did this like some of the other bikes have this done already on it. So what I did was since my brake levers or, or the cutoffs were not being used, I connected them to now to the brake light. So if you look at the brake light, the wiring is now connected as a test one of this and we want to see if this works. And I believe in theory, this should work when the brake, when we hit the brake lever, the rear brake light should turn on. So one, I'm gonna turn on the bike. Bike is on. As you can see, bike is on. So now we have the bike on, but as you notice, the light is not on. I'll turn off the top light here just to give you a little darker view of what it looks like. So you can see the light is not on. It's disconnected the light. And it should now turn on when I hit the brake lever, right? So that's the idea here. So when riding now, when I use the brake lever, the rear light should turn on. So people behind me know that I'm slowing down. So let's try this. One, two, three. Boom works let it go light turns off on off so now this actually works i mean i used um i believe this is 16 gauge wire the proper wiring if you don't want to do this is really uh 18 gauge wire to do this um so i what i did was i disconnected the wiring from the back brake light all the way into uh the where the harness goes behind the battery system right here i disconnected that it was running under the seat Disconnected that and then when I went in I found the the two wires with interconnect with the GPS uh, Locating system uh, That's being used for the Segway. So what I did was I kind of took the uh, shielding off Found the black power wire and didn't touch the ground wire used the black power wire and then connected those two wires to the uh, Cutoff switch for the brake levers So now the cutoff switch I have this temporarily set up in here is done now what's gonna happen is uh, when I use the brakes, um, the battery should, I mean, the bike should now turn the brake levers or turn the rear light on versus keeping it on all the time and just wasting energy. So, like, once again, like I said, brake on, off, on. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to now connect the, the right side brake to the same connection wire. So, if you use either or brake, the brakes should turn on. So that's the idea. The front light should stay off too as well too because now there'll be a switch for the front light to just stay off and conserve battery energy. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'll try to put, post new videos of other things out there. Uh, I do post a lot of videos of um, us riding around in uh, groups out there uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, thank you for watching the video. And uh, please go ahead either if you dislike the video. Uh, just write down, hey man, you know, we like dislike your video for this so and so reason. It's cool, then we'll try to do, I'll try to do something better or make it more informative, I guess. So, thank you.